What up? You are watching another smoke box right here. Um, special guest Felipe Esparza up in here once again. It's good to have you back, bro. What's up, fool? Hey. Thanks for having me be real. Super hey. excited to be back. Yeah, man. I mean, shit, since we had you the first time, I mean, things have changed drastically. Like, you know, your presence is, is like, uh, is way it's much more out there thank you man i like my presence out there more and we have more room in the car <laughs> hell yeah we do we got an audience now yeah we do we got yeah, yeah we got a studio audience right back here, right? <laughs> <laughs> word up man so what's 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 been up man i mean you've been doing a lot of shit lately oh man i just released my uh my comedy album the one i shot in san jose my hbo special it came out on vinyl and right now, people can download it or buy it on iTunes. It's out there now. Yeah. People don't have to go, well, I prefer if, you, if people bootleg it. You know, I can't stop that. I prefer it if it's only five bucks, man. Like, you're gonna steal five bucks. Yeah, go fucking buy it. <laughs> don't be so cheap. I've been trying to bootleg it, dog. It's man, fine. it'd be cool if they bootleg and they went viral, you know? You know? <laughs> Like, they, they, oh, bro, I bought your, I, I downloaded your, your comedy for free. But if three million people do that, I wouldn't mind, you know? You wouldn't mind, yeah. No, because I'm not going to get that much back anyways. But, it, you know, people will come see you then. Yes. That's the whole shit right there. And, it, and the HBO special was fucking big for you, right? It was super. Opened, opened a lot of doors, right? Yeah, man, it was super big. And um, I was waiting for Netflix or Amazon or even Roku. <laughs> to give you a one hour special you know and i waited then i got tired of waiting so then i my wife and i we shot our own special for like sixty-five thousand, and like we put our own money in and yeah. we shot all ourselves i was like all ourselves like we got a crew and um i was craft service <laughs> yeah. so you were you were like the day of the shooting i had to go get lunch <laughs> for these foods vegan lunch some of them were vegan, so if we wanted tortas, hey, I had to go to three different restaurants. I've never been a good, runner. It's got to be complicated doing that. Yeah, <laughs> man. We needed, a, we needed a crane, and then, like, I didn't know that when you rent a crane, you got to also get a crane operate, operator, operator yeah. who's <laughs> authorized. So, man, I had to go ask everybody in the crew one by one, does any of you motherfuckers <laughs> have a crane license? Can you operate a yes. crane? Yes. Okay, man, you are the other crane operator. Your job will be done by a PA now. <laughs> right. That's crazy. Hey, is there a place <laughs> that you've gone on tour that you that you didn't expect to, bro? Like after this special, because you know, like everybody wants to like see you live now, you know. Um, I'm trying to remember like places that cool that I that I've been to. I've been to a lot of places now that that are cool now because it's full. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah. There's more people or showing I'm up. I go to places now that. where the promoter has the money before I go on stage. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a that's a that's better a feeling. Right I know, there, man. That's a better feeling. People don't understand that the next level is just getting paid all full now. Yeah. Because before I remember performing on stage and I don't know if you've done this. I'm on stage doing my jokes, but it's hard. I'm making them laugh, but I'm also looking out for the promoter to make sure he don't leave. Right. So I'm following him while I'm so doing my show. <laughs> Make sure he pays you before you go. Yeah. You don't understand, man, how many times I would do a show, not even a lot, for a lot of money, like $100 here, 60 bucks there. And then at the end of the show, the promoter got too drunk or he gambled, played craps outside yeah. or locked all the money. And then we have to go to his AT, the ATM, ATM. to get the money. Or he has to wake up his father. You feel like you're sharking him. Or they just take off. There's always some. You always get this line. Can you work with me, B? <laughs> <laughs> See that 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 was at, that was that at that level. But now after the special, fucking, uh, no man. Now it stepped up to real people who fucking pay you before you go on, right? Yeah, yeah. man. Now I, I learned about bo about um. They give you the money beforehand, like what was that called? Um, a deposit. A deposit. Yeah. <laughs> See, I get deposit now, so the money when I get there, sometimes they already told me they wire the money. Somebody would have told me that ten years ago, I would never believed them. Yeah. 
Like, what wire? Because I remember this guy in, in, in um, Salinas, California. Salinas. Yeah, man. He, he, he booked me for a show. And listen, man, it was like $500. And I said, okay, listen, man, just send me 200 and I'll believe you. And the day <laughs> of the show, give me the rest. So it was like two weeks before the show. He still had to send me the $200. And I said, listen, man, I don't think I'm going to go to your show. He goes, so right, we already canceled it. <laughs> but we're going to move the show to next month. We could do the next show. I said, well, if you want me to do the show next month, you still got to give me the $200 for this show. <laughs> he goes, but no, man. The, 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 I'll put the gear, the, but the, we didn't do the show. I know we didn't do the show. But you told me the show would have been two weeks from now. You didn't even send me the money. Right. Like, you owe me $200. So before we do the other show, you th- you're gonna give me two hundred dollars for this show, and then you're gonna give a another two hundred for the next show. A deposit for the next show, yeah. But yeah. see, I was I was stupid, you know. I didn't know how to conduct business. Right. I was using the street knowledge when yeah. I could have been smarter and said, "All right, I'll do the next show for seven hundred. Right. <laughs> right. That would have worked. That would have worked. I would have got the gig instead of losing a contact. And get it and argue it over the phone, tell me to, tell me to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but those are the things you, you, you learn as you go along. Yeah, man. Yeah. Are you, are you working on any other special? Like, or any, any other You know special? what? I, I, I am working on another special. I'm, um, I'm trying to do a, one, a half hour special, maybe all in Spanish. Damn. Like, all in Spanish. Like, translate the best of my jokes and do it in Spanish. But not like Spanish for like Spanish people in Europe or Mexico, you know, not those type of Spanish people. I'm talking about the Spanish people who live here in America, right? Well, the paisas, yeah. you know, the people who understand American lingo and Spanish lingo. Yeah. Like people who talk like... For all the paleteros. All the paleteros, bro, because you know what? They want to laugh too, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like they go, hey, my son, love, love, love your show, but... You know, say que está diciendo, güey. You know, say ni madre, güey. But yo sé que estás chistoso, cabrón. And then my Spanish is not really that great. Like, my Spanish is good if the Spanish person I speak to didn't go as far as sixth grade. <laughs> like, if the the guy, where, if, I don't care where he's from, but if his his knowledge of Spanish is only sixth grade. Him and I can have a conversation. Him and they can have a him and I can have a podcast. <laughs> but when I speak speak to somebody from Telemundo or yeah, Univision, it's a little bit harder, yeah. Somebody with nice teeth. It's <laughs> tough, bro. <laughs> I'm, I nice turned into a white guy. Hey, hey cabrón, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Calmate, cabrón. I'm, I'm from East LA, man. Slow down to Chichen and Chong level. <laughs> yeah, they, they yeah, they fuck is it's like rapid. Especially like on a, when they talk from out of town, they go Felipe, como tú no faste de comediante, ¿qué va a hacer? ¿Qué, qué va a hacer el futuro? And, and I only heard futuro. And I said, sí, el futuro está bien. But I'm working, I'm trying to work on a Spanish special because I see that Netflix has a lot of comedians, but they're all Mexican comedians from Mexico. Right. But there's like a shitload of Mexican American comedians here, right here, Salvadorian. Yeah. Like, why we, why we gotta go to Mexico? Well, we got them here. Yeah. So I figure, you know, I, I could kill two birds with one stone. You know, do the, spa- the the next special in English, right? And then do that same special in Spanish. Yeah. With the little like, um, you know, like uh, one joke I was translate is that. But well, un día me dijo el doctor que mi papá tenía back spasm, spasm, and I'm like. I never heard that word in English or Spanish, you know, whatever. But I could translate that joke, but I don't know how to speak Spanish well. You know, even though I was born in Mexico, like I'm one guy that if you deport, I'll be lost. (laughs) 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 I'll be lost, dog. (laughs) Like, damn. Probably a few of us. A few of us, like. How good your Spanish? Oh, probably as about as good as yours, dog. <laughs> Maybe yours is a little bit better. <laughs> but, and, you, uh, and, and, I, and we've discussed this, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Yo, bro, talking about he has this thing. thing bro, to, I'm going to say it, bro. Be Real says 
that he only speaks the good Spanish when he's when he's, <coughs> when he's drinking, bro. Yeah, if I if I have some drinks, <laughs> you know, to to dos equis, I don't, man. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think, <laughs> yeah, more like whiskey. You know what I'm saying? It, or 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 some tequila or something Those like bass. that, right? No, what do you say uh, when you when you're not high, you speak it well. When I'm not high, when the I, fuck is that, bro? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. In See, my dreams, dream. right? So like, if you talk to me in Spanish. After we smoked one, I can understand everything you're saying. You know what I'm saying? But me coming back at you with it, it's going to take me a second because now I'm thinking about what I'm trying to say instead of just saying it, right? When I'm not high, I'm not necessarily thinking about it. I'm just doing it, you know what I'm saying? And when I'm when I'm loaded, I'm really not thinking about it. I'm just doing it because I'm more confident yeah. in speaking it then. But when I'm high... You know, you get that fucking hang up. Oh fuck, I'm high. I don't know if I can. I gotta practice. You know what I'm saying? But realistically, you know, if we weren't high, which is hardly ever, you know, I could speak it like pretty, pretty well, fairly well. Not like these guys, you know. But they, you know, that's pretty, pretty decent. Like I could read it and write it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I could read it. But I don't know like where those little lines go, the little accents. I yeah, me, I don't know, know any of that shit. Me either. neither, man. I, you know, I just know. <laughs> don't you know I'm loco? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get your gingers fucked you up. Little light. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny, man. Like, um, I have a like around white people. Like, I have a heavy ass accent that I never noticed. Cause I, I did a show. I don't want to make. I did a show last night at the comedy store, and um, I haven't seen Jay Moore in a long time. Yeah. And he heard me talk, and he goes like, "Yo, like I always sound like somebody to white people, right? You know, like somebody that pretty much helping them do something." Yeah. But then I say, "No, nah, bro. This is like a. This is not like a Mexican accent. This is more like a. I grew up in the East Side accent, like a Chicano. Yeah. yeah. Mixed with Pocho accent. Right. It's kind of like Cheech Marine." 2018 version yeah but when i'm when i speak to other people like who, who are not really white they can use my accent for being from new york too hmm. and then in canada i'm just straight up pakistanian pakistan <laughs> <laughs> hey how, how do they make that connection i know <laughs> man because probably because my accent when i you know if you're from east l.a you say hey I'm right like, right and the canadians say hey yeah they probably <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they do. God damn. I'm high as fuck right now. Yeah, man. Me too, man. I started to speak some Spanish or Portuguese. Yeah, fucking mix it up. But do you ever, like, get bored? Like, I don't know. You, 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 you on the road, like, what do you use? What do you listen to? Do you try to ever, like, learn a new language? Or do you just, do you, I don't know. What do you listen to when you get, do you listen to books? Do you what read? To, what, what, like, to, to get, like, when you, look at, when you have a 10 hour flight. Oh, right. Right. And you're in a plane for 10 hours. Just to entertain yeah. yourself. Watch movies? Well, so sometimes read, sometimes watch movies. What about you? What do you do? Oh, what? man. I have, I, I, I like, I like work, I like books on tape. Well, they're not on tape, but they're audible books. Oh, you like audio books? Yeah, right? man. And, um, you picture it oh, or? my God, bro. I, I, I listen to so many books, but the one with the craziest one is the book called If I Did It by OJ. Oh, shit. And he's talking through the whole book. It's bro. real OJ? And it's it's real voice. OJ. I think it's real OJ. And it's his voice. Yeah. Talking through the shit. And it sounds crazy. Well, also, I also learned, I'm trying to learn Armenian because I was living in Glendale. Hey, bro. And I want to learn how to tell the motherfucker say, excuse me. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, you know, people don't know how to say, excuse me, or... Excuse me, it's not in her culture, you know. It's yeah. Like, um, I never thought that, like, when I was getting on a bus one time, like, I'm just sitting there, bro, you know, and then all of a sudden I get up, and, I, and man, I never see so many, like, old-ass Asian people, man. They just rush me, man. <laughs> and I was and I was last. <laughs> and then, like, they had shopping carts, man. They had, they had everything, man. Old people, man, better stop just carrying so much shit, bro. Yeah, they carry a lot of shit, no? I know, man. Be like the young people. Get a backpack. <laughs> and the young people take a backpack everywhere. I yeah. know, man. You don't know who to rob nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <so laughs> old people might have a big old 357 Magnum in that backpack. 
<coughs> oh yeah, man. Right things are these days. Not everybody's studying. Yeah. <laughs> not everybody yeah, not goes to school. Stu- but there are some people trapping. You might you might catch some weed in some of them old people's backpacks. Oh yeah, but the other thing I think today somebody posted up a video of this old lady under a bridge getting arrested with like five young guys. <coughs> wow. Like, who's, whose grandma is this? Whose grandma's trapping out? Trap ma. So this lady had five kids. Nah, it was like they were passing under the bridge, and she was handcuffed, and there was like four like to five young fools that looked hella sus, fool, like. And then she was just like the lady caught in the mix, and the cop was all questioning the fuck out of her. Just didn't oh, make sense. Not... She was like the odd person there. The odd person out. She was a getaway driver. Yeah. So you, are you doing any shows lately? Yeah, man. I'm gonna be at the at the Brea Improv in California. The Brea Improv. I'm gonna be there in September. Next week, I'm going to the Chicago Improv, but it's not really in Chicago. They just call it Chicago. Yeah. It's like 40 minutes away. Right. It's in Schaumburg. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I went there, and we were, we were like leaving the airport and leaving Chicago, and I said, why are we leaving Chicago? I thought we were, I was going to the Chicago Improv. I told everybody I was going to Chicago. No, the, our Improv is in Schaumburg. Yeah. So like in the middle of nowhere, man. It's like fucking the sticks. The sticks, bro. It's one of those towns where what do you guys do for fun? We go to Chicago. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In your yeah. travels, man, have you ever been to towns where your concert was it? Yeah. Like, your concert was the shit that made that town lit up that night. Yeah. And then after the end of the show, people are walking up to you and be, we're so sorry, we have a boring ass town, but we <laughs> could take you places, but we already went to your concert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, we've definitely done that. There's plenty of that. Even in the festival settings, because in Europe, you know, the fucking festivals are way out on farms, like fucking two, three hours outside of any city shit. So, you know, it's crazy when it's like that because you're that's the only shit there is to do <coughs> in that town at that time. You know what I'm saying? And they fucking... You know, they go to it, you know, there may not be much to do, but on that night, they enjoy the fuck out of it. I know, and they and they go all out. Yeah. They, they fucking rent rooms. Oh, yeah. Some of them get arrested. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. That's the top shit. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to get arrested tonight. Like, yeah. I was, I did a show in, our, in Tucson, Arizona, at a casino, and I talk a lot of, about my, my, a lot of my jokes now is about real stuff. I talk about when I, when I used to have a crack addiction, addiction. You know, and I talk about a lot of coke. And there was this couple that was staying next to my hotel room. And then they were all partied out. He was like this strong ass fool, bro. Like you could tell that like, this guy used to party, but he looked calm now, right? Then I, I went to go eat buffet in the morning and I saw them. And she was this white girl married to some Mexican dude, right? And I asked her, what happened to your husband? Oh man. After your show, and it was funny to hear a white girl say this. After your show, he fucking did a desmadre. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I said, what do you mean? Oh, man, he started a fight with at the casino at, after your show. We haven't seen him all night. He took off with a car. I'm stuck here with my son and his mom. Oh, shit. Fuck it. Wow. That's a desmadre. That's, That's some shit you do when you're 17. Yeah. <laughs> Not when you're 53, bro. Yeah, 53. That's... What happened to your daddy? Oh, oh man. God. He got a fight with a bellhop. <laughs> I fucking I throw this foot aside. Like, that was the night, bro. Like, you know, to use my show as an excuse to go, to go on a crack bench. Oh, shit. You, do, you don't feel responsible though, right? Hell no. All right. Don't, that was his man. choice. That was his choice, Doc. And I remember, I remember, like, like Ozzy Osbourne didn't be responsible because my friend tried to make love to a dog after it. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that don't make sense. Or how about the, the, those fools that try to impress you? Like, like you ever get that? Like, you're trying to, you're trying to, like, I remember I was in there and <coughs> all my stories are in Arizona. Sorry, man. People, they get fucked up. And... <laughs> I was partying with my friend from, shout out to Edwin San Juan in Vegas. Um, we were like partying in Phoenix after the show and these crazy ass Mexican fools, 
And they told us, man, you guys want to really get fucked up? And I said, yeah, man, let's get fucked up. You guys really want to get fucked up, homie? Yeah. We're at, what room are you guys staying in? We're staying at the Radisson, bro. Um, room five. All right, man, we're going to show with a lot of weed. These motherfuckers show up with two pounds of Reggie, bro. <laughs> like stress, bro. Like Brown like, break. <coughs> brown weed, bro. It was a big two. That's all we had. So that was, and then, but they had personal stuff, and um, of course that there was coke. But I wasn't doing that shit back then. And of course, man, the cops showed up, dog. Oh. The cops showed up. I thought two pounds of Reggie was the worst part of the story, but now. Yeah, man, <laughs> getting busted with two pounds of Reggie is the worst part, eh? Yeah. Cause you try to convince the cop, cause you at least say his OG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you write it up, dog. Cause, cause, that was, that was, cause okay. that's what I was telling my customers. I don't want my peoples to know I had Reggie on the books. You know what I'm saying? So we fucking um, we hit those two pounds under the bed, and I said, and I told the cop, "Hey, man, this isn't that really my room," and I walked out. And then my friend had to leave. They fucking left. They kicked us out of the hotel room, and those fools, those two fools, lost two pounds. That's what happened, dog. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. And it was that was before marijuana was legal in Arizona. I mean, they were they were they were locking people up for sixty days for a joint back then. Imagine two pounds. They would have probably separated. Like, okay, there's five Mexicans. We give a quarter to each. <laughs> well, at least they didn't lose a lot of money because I mean it was Reggie. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't go to jail. You didn't go to jail. Say, it's not my room. <laughs> <laughs> that ever happened to you, man? You invite some crazy ass fans or crazy shit happens like that? And you're like, fuck, who invited this fool? Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck every other show. It's like, how the fuck did this guy get in here? Why is I think any here at 2 p.m.? That's how, met, <laughs> that's how I met these guys. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck are these guys? How did they were the guys in? who never left, bro. <laughs> What's your, what's your favorite part of doing stand-up? Man. I would say it now, Miami. Miami, that's your favorite part of doing yeah, stand-up? Yeah, man. Because right. I like their coffee. They got good it's coffee. Like the coffee cents, is right? good, bro. They got, they got 90 good cents, coffee. 90 cents, bro. Oh, Fuck bro. Starbucks. Fucking up my name all the time. Writing bean around my cup. <laughs> 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 I say winner. <laughs> I get, I give you that one. That's a good one, though, Doc. They do make good coffee. Over Dude, there. La, la Carreta. <laughs> la Carreta. Oh, my God, bro. I mean, I, can't, I mean, I don't know, man. Just Cuban coffee and Armenian coffee, you know, like. It's pretty it's, strong. It's fucking strong, bro. Yeah. Shit wakes you up. Though. It wakes you up, bro. Like, But, like, if you don't have a job, you just hyper for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Cubans talk fast too. Yeah, that's the crazy oh, yeah, shit. You know, like trying to keep up with that Spanish, right? There. That Spanish is hard, man. Cause it's like poetic. And if you talk slow, right, they're looking at you like, all right, come on, say it, yeah, come on. <laughs> you know, the, what takes you like the sixty seconds, they would have did it in like ten. Da -da 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 -da. So that, uh, but they're very honest, <laughs> like, they have, they, um, Cuban people, like, I get most Latino people, older people, they're very honest and friendly, like, jovial, like, like, they had, the guy had no problem calling me a fat ass at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, tienes mucha grasa. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, motherfucker? He told you that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like grasa, like at my, he said, he said my fucking body is full of grease, <laughs> and, I, and I'm vegan, bro. <laughs> See, oh shit, no, he's but really I, serious. <laughs> <laughs> I get the same reaction. Nobody believes me. That was a good one. <laughs> but no, I believe you because it's true. They you know, will tell you some shit like that straight up. <laughs> Oh man. But it's hard, you know, like to be fat and vegan. Cause you can't be like um you know, like I don't know if you have any health issues, like do I have butter inside? Cause I remember one time man you had this fool right here cooking cooking a sandwiches right here. And um and I was watching that fool cook, man. I said, What again? First of all, man, who the fuck gonna make a sandwich here? 
and I expect be real to eat it. <laughs> and I saw him make it, bro. And I kept watching his ass. And I said, okay, <laughs> the food by a little fucking whack ass toaster oven. <laughs> <laughs> And I saw like this is not healthy, right? But um, and that but my <laughs> fat ass would have still ate it, right? <laughs> but now imagine those foods were cooking for me, and I would have told them, "Listen, bro, do they have cheese in it?" They would have saw how fat I am, dog. We're gonna put extra cheese for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been accommodating now. So let, let. I was on a road. You notice that that I was talking, I was like getting to a point of the conversation where we're gonna get deep. Then I just fell apart. That's all I right. I hit a dead end, bro. I hit a car accident. It's not like a wall, right? A wall. Yo, before we go, is LeBron coming to LA? LeBron James is coming to Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen. After they get swept and demolished and put to shame by the Golden State Warriors. LeBron James gonna open his eyes and realize that the only way to get to the championship is to play the Golden State Warriors during a regular season and beat them in the regular playoffs. And the only way to do that is to be a Houston Rocket. What the fuck are you gonna go to Houston for the fucking flood over there? <laughs> there ain't shit over there, bro. There ain't no money, bro. I did a show over there, I donated half of the money to the food bank. <laughs> but LA's the place, man. I'll be the first guy to buy a LeBron James jersey. And um, he could take us to the promised land. He teach these guys how to win, yeah. Hell yeah, tickets will be super expensive though. True that. Like, I still can't go. That's B-Roll will take you, I'll right? take you, bro. <laughs> I'll go. Cause right now it's bad, man. The Lakers are horrible, man. I can't even name one player. Larry Bird, see? Yeah, that's... Can you name a Laker player? Yeah, run Artez. Man yeah. of World Peace. No, he left already. Well, he's he's retired now. Balls, that guy that, that Balls or whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah this is a nice game, dude. It's, yeah, it's a whole yeah, new bro, squad. All, all of them are like 20 years old, though. Yeah, it's a new squad. So Hell yeah, man. Rebuild. Because right now, the, the Lakers, man, are doing so bad, you could get in there with Dodger tickets. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to check next time. Hey, let me see your fucking ticket. <laughs> no, nah. we'll have to scrap in the aisle for my. You seats, think Jack bro. Nicholson Fuck still that. goes, even though yeah. Yeah, he's ride or die, dog. Yeah. You know, if you're a fan, you're a fan. <coughs> we like can't be bandwagoning, dog. As good as it gets, shit. we don't do it like that. <laughs> hey, man, I want to thank you for taking the time to jump in the oh, box man. with us. Thanks for time. having me, man. Word up, man. When's your so? When's your next uh, sh live show again? My next show will be next week at the Chicago Improv in Schaumburg, Illinois. And um, check out all my dates at felipesworld.com slash tour. November 2nd, I'm doing the Warfield Theater in San Francisco, so check that out, fool. Right on, man. This has been another smoke box. And check out my What's Up Fool podcast. That's right. Check out the podcast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my man, Felipe Esparza, another smoke box. Leave comments, subscribe to the channel. This has been another one. Peace. Got the heart of a lion, soul of a titan, mind of a genius, fly with the height, all your senses are senseless, resistant, relentless. It's what they call you when your grind is endless. Let's get this. They say I'm psycho, I move weight like lipo, got a big crib like Michael, out the window with a rifle, my wrist game on light show. I'm backstage with white hoes, I got pre rolls and everything.